saya dengan segala hormatnya, majlis dengan segala hormatnya, mempersilakan Tuan Negara Pemimpin Persik. Didn't 
out of the blue uh, decide to have a rally. We have been working for many, many months. We have had forum, we have had dialogue with, with the EC, we have had many exchanges of information with the Election Commission. What does the Election Commission tell us? That they have put up recommendations to the Cabinet, but they are not approved. Now, if they are, they must tell the people what are those recommendations? What are those recommendations of SPRs? And why isn't the government taking note of the recommendations of SPR? That means you have no respect for SPR. Does SPR the power of the Mangaan? They are set up the power of the Malaysia. They are under, they are set up under the federal constitution. Now, what is our seventh demand? Hatikan Raswa. Everybody agrees that we have to stop corruption in this country in every aspect, not only dalam human rights. Are we sick of corruption? Yes. Are we sick of corruption? Yes. Do we want to hapuskan Raswa? Yes. And finally, tuntutan kami untuk menghentikan politik koto. We all know what that means. We have seen the level of the debate in Singapore elections. You look at the candidates, what are they talking about? They're talking about policies. They are arguing about policies. Not feel like some of the candidates do in Malaysia. We want that change. Kami ingin, we want, kami hendak, karya demokrasi di Malaysia di Naikan. That is what we want. Saudara-saudari, we uh, Bersih 2.0 menyuru kepada rakyat yang bersetuju dengan lapan tuntutan ini untuk menyertai kami pada sembilan hari bulan Julai untuk mempromosikan demokrasi dan reformasi pilihan raya. Tuan-tuan dan puan-puan, Bersih 2.0 ingin menyakinkan pihak polis dan pihak-pihak lain bahawa perhimpunan bersih adalah satu gerakan rakyat yang aman. It will be peaceful because we want it to be peaceful. We know how to make it peaceful. It, had, it took place in 2007. It was a peaceful walk. It will be a peaceful walk because that is what we want. Dan seperti yang diberitahu, Bersih Dua ingin bekerjasama dengan pihak polis untuk menjayakan keinginan rakyat dalam melaksanakan hak perlembagaan untuk perhimpunan awam. Now, this is a copy of the Federal Constitution. Article 10 says that it is one of our fundamental rights that all citizens have the right to assemble peaceably and without arms. That is the right that we are exercising. They will tell you that we have legislation, police act, and sebagainya. That's what they will say. And they will use that. But I tell them, read the constitution. Whatever act you have cannot nullify my right under this Constitution. You may restrict it a little bit, but you cannot take it away. And that's what they are trying to do. Take away our right to assemble peaceably. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to suggest, uh, uh, there was a suggestion earlier, a report in the Malaysian Insider, I don't know if it's accurate, two reports. One, which suggested that PKR will lead the way, as it were. I'm not quite sure what the what the wording was. I think that they will lead the, the Parihunan. Sorry, civil society will lead the Parihunan. Sorry, PKR. If that report is accurate, I want to make a correction. We will lead the Parihunan. Malaysian insider seems to 
suggest that Dr. Sri Anwar Ibrahimi, it is correctly reported, said that he would call me to call off the rally if Dr. Sri Najib would promise a clean and fair election. With due respect, Dr. Sri Anwar Ibrahim, this decision is not yours. Thank you. 